Uh -huh. I need my dream yeah. body. Ah. It's not easy. Yeah. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> 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 Just stand a leg. Ooh. <laughs> ah, fantabulous. You know, this is my place. I came out now. Oh, I'm so sorry. Am I disturbing? No, 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 no. no. Stop me. If you disturb me, slap my face. <laughs> You're not disturbing. The yeah, I just came out. I, I saw that. I, who is this? Because I, my doctor has been talking to me. Everybody, they said I should also be encouraging people. We need to do yes, exercise like the body. It's very good to we do. need to yes, lose sir. the weight. Good, <laughs> so seeing you, I'm happy. In fact, I have to encourage you for losing weight. <laughs> Put your card number here. Sure. Put your card here. My card will be better. Yes, 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 sir. <laughs> Million. Sir, million. daddy, <laughs> ah, daddy, you know what? Let's it's, jog together so we can burn we, these we calories together. We'll lose the weight we'll together. We can. Yes, you no, know, but you know I can't be jogging with you as a father figure. But if we go inside now, there are other ways that we can lose weight. <laughs> you get me now? Daddy, you will lose weight though. Ah, I will lose weight. You will lose all the weight. Though. I want to lose all the weight. Daddy, do you know how to lift dumbbell? Ah, freaking. Let me lose this way. Daddy, you will lose that way. Oh, yeah, my boy. My boy, yeah. My boy, now, freaky. Oga, you will lose the way, too. Ha! You will lose the way, too. You will lose the way, too. Excited about this. Thank you very much, Well, love, can you find out if we can present early next week? Mm -hmm. We still have the banquet foods pitch, by the way. Yes, ma'am. So, do you want to do I can't say. Hello, ma'am. I'm okay, ma'am. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, work is good. <laughs> no, ma'am. None yet. And for how long? All your mates are on their third children now. Mom, I thought you always said it's not how early that matters, but how well. Yes. Mom, that's not fair. I've just not found the right girl now. How many more right girls do you need to meet? What about all those ones I introduced you to? Uh, Mom, you mean the ones that you set me up with? Those were good young ladies from respectable homes. And what did you do with them? Eh, 
It's not my fault that things didn't pan out well now. How will it pan out well? When before we can say Jack Robinson, you have already slept with them. Look at Dayo. Okafi Yawusi girlfriend. You just wasted a potential wife as a girlfriend. Yes. Oh, hi. Come in. Are you... Can you cut us out your service? Yes. Yes. Uh, come this way, please. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> yeah, please. Sit down. Uh, do you want something to drink? No, mm, thanks. Okay, so what exactly did my mom ask you to speak to me about? Um, I just moved back to Nigeria from the UK. Oh. I'm trying to find a job in public relations. Oh, okay. Is, is that what you studied? Postgraduate. Oh. Had my first degree in economics from Cardiff. Interesting. So, tell me about yourself. What would you like to know? Hmm. Management and public relations. Hmm. So I decided to settle for the more glamorous one. <laughs> Never seen a money manager on the red carpet before, have you? <laughs> True. You know, I think I really like you. You should. Thanks, man. You're a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a prince amongst men. Hmm. You're a bastard! A heartless bastard! Look, I'm, the prince of hell. I'm sorry you got the wrong impression. How dare you say I got the wrong impression? You said you loved me. Look, we were just having sex. If you know you didn't really mean it, why didn't you say so later? You know what, Kunle? You will never find anyone to love you. Mark my words. Raise me and I'll help you take care of this living room. What is this? By the way, I hope you have food in this house door. Because I'm starving. Gosh. How are you, Mr. Kudasa? It's uh, okay. From what I see here, it's not too serious, but. I'm gonna have to advise you take it very easy for the next few days. All right. Thank you. Oh, gosh. I was freaking scared. Yeah, but you thought I was finally going out of your life. Like, seriously, bros. You need to start taking it easy on yourself. You know you're the one giving me out when I'm getting married. Oh, so that's it. And here I was thinking that the concern was genuine love. Rubbish. Hola, <laughs> <laughs> Kunle. What happened to you? Hi, Mom. 
I just needed some rest, that's all. You just needed rest and you were found slumped on the floor? Yeah, but I'm fine now, Mom. That is why I've been telling you to get married. God forbid, I wonder what could have happened. Okay, so because I'm being married would have stopped me from passing out? That is not what I'm saying. If you had been married, your wife could have discovered you even earlier. Look, enough is enough. If you're not going to get a wife, at least get a house help. Mm -hmm. Fine, as long as it's not in my way or in my face all day. And just like that baby boy that we had in Jerry, what was that his name again? <laughs> Saibu. Exactly, <laughs> Saibu. For a freaky character like this. Always everywhere. <laughs> that guy always had me scared. Like so when are they going to discharge you? Well, the doctor says maybe tomorrow. And then if I stay at home for like one day or two. You know, Thank just, God. Uh, <sighs> okay. Nice. Heard you were back. Hmm. Wanted to see for myself. You heard, right? So, what happened to you? Well, I guess I overestimated myself. But after three hours with you, I thought that I could go back home at work overnight. So, now you know. Do you want to swing by later? <laughs> I don't know that I should be exerting myself that much yet. Don't worry, I'll be on top. <laughs> Because I don't like the idea of being under any man. I like my freedom too much, I beg. <laughs> okay, so you don't want to have kids in the future? Of course I do. But who says I have to be married to the father? All I need is the right spawn from the right guy and I'm straight <laughs> to motherhood. Wow. You're crazy, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Why? <laughs> because like you, I don't want to compromise my freedom. So what? Is it... A case of good for the gander, bad for the good. Right. This kind of situation. Mm, so this is exactly the reason why I say we're very like, hey, maybe we should get married. Huh? And kill each other after one month? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. But honestly though, I think that you should be careful about who you pick as your baby daddy. Of course I will be. You know, he's got to be very handsome and extremely rich. Right, so that leaves me out. Sorry, but you're still top on my list. You know why? Because no one else does the things you do the way you do them. <laughs> Yeah. Please, um, I'm asking for Mr. Kunle. I'm from Mommy Koroso. Yes, I'm Kunle. Uh, Madam, tell me, I can't work for you. My mom asked you to come and work for me. Yes, she said I clean the house, wash clothes, and cook food for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how this is going to work, but just come in. Come in. Uh, Okay, I'm not sure how this is going to work, but, um, you know, it's just um, put your bags in the room on the right there.
Hmm, I see you've done some major cleaning. Well done, Oga. I put your food on the table. Yeah, thank you. I've seen it. Uh, Idong. Oga? Where did you get the things you used to make the soup? Oh, I buy these things from market as I was coming. And the fufu? Alright, thank you. Uh, please remind me to refund your money to you later. Mm -hmm. And Idong? Oga? I profess uh, to Oga, okay? Get ready to redo the Vitaco Life presentation. Oh, he's done that already. <clears throat> uh, oh, by the way, did I tell you that my mom eventually found me a house help? Oh, she did? Mm -hmm. That's good. Is he any good? It's a she, actually. I know she's not any good. I mean, she's nice and all, but apart from cooking, she knows next to nothing. Then fire her. Yeah, I probably will. I mean, because she doesn't know how to use the dishwasher or the washing machine. She made a horrible mess the times that she tried. And she has this horrible habit of serving me water in a covered glass with my meal. Oh. Like I'm some village chief or something. That's probably how she sees you. <laughs> you know what? I'll take a look at her before you fire her, okay? Please, help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Did I mention to thank you? Did I mention to thank you? Did I mention to thank you? What? What you? What you? What you doing? What you doing here? What you doing here? I'm not, I'm not playing with you, I'm not playing with you. Yes. The food was good. Thank you, sir. And uh, I see that you've been able to find your way around the area. Yes, sir. I use my phone to find my everything I want. Seriously? How did you know to do that? Um, there's this man on one program on TV. He uses his phone to find everything he wants. Makes sense. Yes, yes, I'm finished. Seriously, like she's like an information sponge. You know, she hears something once and the next time she's repeating it verbatim. Okay, maybe she keep her around for a bit more. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, she's improving by the day, and the food is getting a bit more adventurous. Last time she cooked some interesting delicacy, and it was quite good. So, send her to school and make her a personal assistant. 
You really think so? Of course not. I was joking. Uh, She's a bush girl and that thing is always going to be there. I guess so. Hey, listen, I've got to go. I've got a meeting with the banquet people, with MD as well. We're trying to sort out a new presentation date. Yeah, I really feel really bad about that. Nah, don't be. It's okay. It's not your fault. Um, busy later? Nah, not really. Okay. So, I'll drop by. And maybe I can see your little girl. Yes? Who is it? I'm here to see Kule. Please, um, is he expecting you? Tell Kule Lola is outside. I should be leaving in a minute. Um, I'm sorry. I just wanted to be sure. Where's Kule? Um, I'll, I'll just go, go call him. Hmm. Hey, Lola. I was sneezing when I heard your voice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The girl? Yep. I see dong. That's not a child. That's a full grown babe and a sinfully curvy one at like that. Oh, I don't know about the sinful parts, but yes, yeah, she is certainly curvy. Which is really none of our business. Before I leave, fortunately for us, Banquet Fools has decided to give us another shot. Mm. So, Kunle. Yes, ma'am. Tomorrow you'll be having dinner with the chairman. Okay. So, Daniels wants to go with New Age, but if you impress him, he will have no option but to work with us. Okay. Oh, uh, I want to see the presentation for Neurocrime in the next few minutes. Okay. okay. And Kunle. When you're going tomorrow night, go with somebody. So, Daniels believes any business executive above the age of 30 that isn't married is irresponsible. Yeah, but I don't have a girlfriend or fiance. Find somebody for the night. Must I do everything myself? <laughs> well, you free tomorrow night? Um, yes, I am, but I don't think it's such a good idea. Why? Well, let's just say I've got history with Sir Daniels. Are you serious? I never said I was a saint. Hey, listen, um, call up your ex-girlfriends. I'm sure one of them might be happy to go to dinner with you. Yeah, I hope so. Hope so, too. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Hello. Good afternoon. Where's my brother Kunle? He's gone to work. And you are? My name is Idong. I work for him. Really? What do you do for him? Um, I'm his housekeeper. <laughs> you don't look like a housekeeper. <laughs> Thank you. But that's what I am. Um, can I get you something to eat or drink? Yeah, anything cold will be fine. Yes, yes, I know. I'm, I'm sorry about that. You know, but we can talk about this after dinner and I'll explain everything that happened. Found one yet? No, I haven't. I have called 12 people and not one of them is willing to see me, let alone go to dinner with me. I'm not bad. Well, you once got away with dating twin sisters for three months by managing to convince each one of them that the other one was crushing on you. That, my friend, is considered as bad. Well, uh, if my display of masculine prowess is what will be considered as bad, I should still at least be able to get one person to dinner with me. Hmm. Ah. Mm. Aha. I think that I'll get one of these girls from these escort services that are springing up all over the place now. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Why? Because Sir Daniels is worse than you when it comes to the opposite sex. He can smell a Ron's girl from a mile away. Well, I'm talking about an escort, not a Ron's girl. Semantics, Kunle. Medical students don't become engineers. <sighs> hey, listen, um, call up your guys. MD wants the Queen documents before she leaves. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot about that. Okay, I will call you. Well, that saves me right from destinating me. So now tell me the truth. Your brother's girlfriend, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. But you're not his housekeeper either. I have met a lot of housekeepers and they certainly don't look like you. is the one person in the entire world that I would like to be with me at that dinner. And it was you, darling. I don't understand, do I sound like I've been drinking? I can't believe I can't find a date. Good evening, sir. What's wrong? I'm supposed to have dinner with this client who thinks that every married executive over 30 is on serious. That's dumb. Yeah, well, he's the chairman, so his opinion matters a lot. Well, take one of your exes, will you? I can't. I've called 15 of them. They all hate me. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Wait. You should be able to hook me up with one of your friends now. <laughs> Seriously? And let them end up like Jasmine and Ronke? Look, this is different, okay? There's just a few hours at dinner. Yeah, yeah, just the same way Jasmine was supposed to be waiting here for me and somehow ended up in your bed. Okay, so I've been a bastard in the past, but this is my job on the line, Wilson. <sighs> well, I don't know how to help you, bros. Like, seriously, keep my friends out of this. <sighs> By the way, who's um, Idom? What's your relationship with her? She's my house help. <laughs> seriously? How did you get a girl like that to be your health help? Maybe you should ask your mother. <laughs> well, she could be the answer to your problem. How do you mean? Take her to the dinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. You think? Of course. You know, sir, 
Um, I have a proposition for you. Me? Yes, it's okay. It's um, it's quite simple, really. All I need for you to do is escort me to a dinner date, and you just pretend, just pretend to be my girlfriend. No, no, no I, I, I can't do that. Look, there's really nothing to it. Okay, nothing at all. You just need to look pretty. Say a little, good evening when we get there. Thank you for a lovely evening when we're leaving. That's all. That's all you need to do. Is this cool by you? Yes? Cool. Cool. Now I have to dress you up. You're seriously going to do that? Look, I don't have an option, okay? 16 tries and not one of them is willing to go with me. And you decide to opt for a disaster waiting to happen? Well, it's not going to be a disaster. Okay? Her English has improved. So what happens if he wants to have a conversation? I mean, can she talk about work, books, arts, Hello. politics? It is a business meeting, okay? Talk will be mostly about work. You can never be so sure. Mm. Anyway, it's your career, it's your dinner, do whatever you want. You need me to make her look fabulous, right? Yes. So let's do it. Money. <laughs> Three, one, one, zero. I'll get a Birkin bag Hello? for my effort. I was only joking. Hizo. Calm down. I'll uh, just do a Jimmy Chen. I'm serious now, huh? Prada. What's wrong with you? Why are you calling all these expensive things? Please. Gucci, Gucci. Please. Let's bring my card back. Let it not be. <laughs> Because it'll be funny if my girlfriend keeps referring to me as sir. Uh, understand? Okay, let's do this. Alright. 
<clears throat> Good evening, sir. Ah, hello. Uh, come here, how are you? Fine, thank you. This is my girlfriend, Heidi. Oh, my God. Pleased to meet you. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Mix grill for two pieces, okay? No, no, no. Um, make that three. I think we should all eat the same thing, I think. Okay. Yeah, all right, that's very good. Okay. So, uh, Kale. Sir. Ah, your your MD tells me that you have some. Re um, it will be an unprecedented success. Oh, Kazo! I do any Yes. Are you? Are you mm. Really? That's nice. I'm going to go. I get it here. Okay, you don't. You don't. Oh, okay. that is where the ID comes from. Yes. <laughs> mm. That's very good. You know? That is the same school my wife attended. The very same school. <laughs> I don't doubt you for me. Honestly, tell me about it. I have, I have one of the products in my house. <laughs> Kunle, that means um, I'll give you another opportunity to pitch to the board. Okay? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. You don't. It was really, really nice meeting you. You know? Me too, sir. Okay. <laughs> so, um... Kule. Sir. Don't let this treasure slip away from your hand. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Yes, sir. That was really, really well done. That was good, but uh, we will still have to deliberate on it, mm -hmm. you know. But with your presentation, that would just be a mere formality. Hmm? Thank you very much, sir. Uh, so we'll see you during the shoot? Yes. yes and you must make sure you bring the young lady with you. Mm. And for all other meetings we have. Okay. Yeah? I think she's your good luck charm. Ha! <laughs> I do. Darling, I will have to require more of your time. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Sir. All right, then. Have a look. A favor. Okay, go on. Um, so, Sir Daniel has taken a liking to you, dog. <laughs> Tell me something new. No, no, not like that. She seems fond of her. Yes, from the same place. Whatever makes you sleep at night, Gunley. What's the favor? He's asked me to bring her to the shoot. Okay. And every other meeting we have. What does that mean? I just told you he's fond of her. <laughs> that sounds like more than fondness to me. Because, anyway, it's none of my business. If Sir Daniels has taken a liking to a house help, that's a stick of cigarette. What's the favor? Anyway, um, I need you to help set up her wardrobe, you know, be able to buy some things she can wear to these places. You're really going to spend money on your house girl to impress Daniels? Look, if it will secure our retainership, it will shock you what I'm willing to do. Your money, your business. Send me your details. I'll credit your account later, Joe. Add 30% on top of it, too. Because I need to buy my own stuff. <laughs>
posture. Again, you can try this either way. The most important thing to remember is that wherever the legs of your chair are, just etiquette is that you keep your legs within the legs of position in modeling. Slide your right knee over your left knee. Don't lift it because that way you can see in between your legs and ladies, we don't want to do that. We want to slide. I'm going to do it one more time. She got everything, everything. Okay, so we need to go over some questions just so we don't mess up, get some facts right. Okay. Um, so here are a list of questions that they would most likely ask us, like, um, where did we meet? You can say that we met at the mall. Yes, I ran into you when you were carrying some things and then you dropped them. Yeah. Um, and then if they ask you how I propose, you can see that I proposed at a restaurant after dinner. Yeah. Are you sure you can remember all these things? Yes, I can remember. All right, cool. Uh, my favorite color is blue. What's yours? Red. Okay. Favorite food, rice and vegetable? A fang supangari. <laughs> okay. Um, and oh, if they decide to ask you why you said that I'm the one, you can just tell them it was I'm handsome, you know. <laughs> but you are not. Oh. Okay, um, yeah, I guess you... I'm just joking. Okay. something from your side from the other side and then with your yeah exactly like that good nice how's it looking Great. beautiful all right let's get the other girl come on okay nice I want a lot of smiles okay okay nice beautiful bring this down a bit so we can get a good shot of her
Good, good. We got some. Sweetie, come on. Okay. Nice. Give you something to the to the left so we can see your whole body. Nice. Okay. How's it looking? Fine. Good. Okay. All right. You okay? Yeah. Fine. Look. Good. Maybe the almost set up things are running smoothly. Shouldn't be here too long. So the yes. agents of the model wants to see. Okay. So I'm gonna go sort some things out, yeah? Okay. Will you be fine? Sure. Okay. You shouldn't be doing your makeup now, you know. Aren't you one of the models? Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, then the director must be a nitwit because you're like the most beautiful woman from a mile radius. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, trust me, I know about these things. I'm Sean Fuqua. You wow. don't hand sure. Hey. <laughs> Sean. Ah, cool. See you your fiance. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just thought I found love. Uh, <laughs> I think they're actually ready for you. All right, man. Yeah. I'll see you guys later, okay? Right. Thanks, Uncle. Well, cool. yeah. well right. done, well done. Sure. <laughs> okay, okay, ladies, ladies, how's it going? Everything looking good? <laughs> um, who's here? It's the director of the shoots. Oh, yes. I hope you're not planning on keeping her as a housewife. Right? <laughs> Nothing at all. Uh -huh. She'll start work soon. So. Uh, that's fantastic because I'm sure we have some vacancies coming up in my company. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Um, what did you study? Uh, economics. <laughs> economics? Um, remind me, I know we talked about this before. What school? Aquai bomb. Uh, the university there. Uni yeah. That's what it is. A very good school. I used to have a friend there. Um, what's his name now? Um, engineering department. Uh, um, Professor Fowley. Do, do, you, do you know him? Of course not. <laughs> it was a long time ago, and I'm sure I'm sure he had left before you got in. Mm. You know, but then I used to visit the school. You know, and wait, hey, do you know where those women used to sell bread? Babe, yeah? sorry, sorry, What's that? sorry. Look, huh? Hill, are you okay? Do, do you want to go and wait in the car? All right. Maybe. Sorry, sir. I oh, hope no, you don't no, mind. No, it's, just it's okay. So it's okay. Really. Can, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Maybe yeah. just relax in the car. Okay. Hey, beautiful. Hi. Hey, you know I'm still surprised you're not a model. Well, because modeling has never been my thing. What? As beautiful as you are. <laughs> Come on. Not with all this going on. No, you should really consider it. <laughs> no. I mean, like seriously, how do you cope with all this? <sighs> hey, what can we do? <laughs> but you know, I'm really trying to put up some money together so I can start my own magazine. Really? Yeah. And then you just give up on directing? <laughs> well, tell you the truth, directing has really not been my thing. You know. I'll tell you the truth, you know, I really won't miss it. You know. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, enough about me. Let's talk about you. How long have you and Kole been together? Not so long. Oh. <laughs> So it's really not serious yet? Mm -mm. Not really. 
Oh yeah? So, do you love him? <sighs> I don't think I really um, know much about the love part, but I know I do like him. And he's a nice guy. Yeah, well I'm nicer. <laughs> and I'm crazy about you. Yeah. I mean, Indian, I'm really crazy about you. I, mean, I know we just met, but it's the honest truth. Let me tell you something. Stop it! Sean, me... really? Don't wait for me to come. Oh, look. Yo. Come here. I'm sorry. Look, Dad, I don't really know what got over here. Kuli, I'm not really interested in your explanation. What I know is, if you're supposed to speak to her ever again, I'll make sure you never work in this town again. Kule. Kule. You should have been thanking me. Besides, I enjoyed myself. I think I need to go and change. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna turn into. Okay. Good night. All right, good night. Turned out really good. Everybody loved it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That will be nice. Thanks. All right. Yeah, bye. Such a darling, you dog. Know. What's for dinner? <clears throat> Please, sir. Can I go and sleep now? Uh, yeah. I'm sure we'll be able to clean up when we finish. Okay. All right. It's nice, eh? Yeah. Oh, looks good. Do you want to help me? For dinner last night. It was lovely. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mm. Oh. If 
I want a glass, I'll ask for one. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Thank Go you. to hell. Morning, Edong. Good morning, sir. Are you okay? Yeah, I um, I was thinking you and my might need something before I go to the market. Uh, I think we'll be fine. Where in heaven's name have you been? I went to the market. And you stayed there till now? Who goes to the market and stays for over 10 hours? And your phone is switched off. My, my battery was dead. So you should have found a way to reach me. Or it didn't occur to you that I'd be worried? What, you didn't think that I'd be worried? It's not that, it's just that. Uh, nothing, sir. You don't? Out with it. It's just that I offended Madame. And I feel it would be best to stay away till she leaves. What happened? She was drinking from the pack of juice and flared up when I offered her a glass. <laughs> Are you being serious? Okay. Look, you did the right thing, okay? You did the right thing. Can you imagine her last face when she's flaring up? But look, next time, please don't vanish, okay? Do you? Okay. You have such a lovely smile.
I've been able to reach you. Yeah, I know it must be the network. Yeah. But hey, listen, I've got yeah. codages for you. Yeah, what's that? I overheard MD and Mr. Williams talking, and it seems like they want to make you partner. Seriously? Yes. Looks like they're very impressed with the way you handled that pitch the other day. <sighs> that would be really fantastic. Now, remember where you really will. So what's happening tonight? Are you coming over or am I coming over? No, I'll come over. OK. 
okay. <laughs> Ah, I almost forgot. What's wrong? Uh, supposed to meet with someone at eight. Okay. I think it's kind of important. Uh, but are you staying out for so long? I promise I will be quick. Okay, so I'll just stay up here and wait for you. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. See so you when I get back. Got something? Yes. I forgot that the most important place I need to be is with you. from you. Yeah, I was tired. I'm sorry. Where is she? Where is who? Do you know this dress and obviously the person you stood me up for? Well. Where is she? Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm alone here. God, it's Idong you're sleeping with. Listen, Nola, I can explain, okay? I can explain. You stood me up for your house, girl. Oh, look, it's more complicated than that. If you just sit down and let me talk to you about this, please, please. I loved you. I loved you, Kunle. How, how could you do this to me? With her! So, sorry, you, you loved me. <laughs> But you always said you were incapable of loving any man and we cherished your freedom too much. How else were we supposed to last for so long? If I told you how I felt, you'd have run away. To, to think you made me shop for her. To make her look good. My God. I've been such a fool. Please, Lola.
market shares to 21%. By next quarter, we all need to have a more aggressive approach. Finally, due to recent events that have helped to position the company, the board has approved the promotion of Mr. Kunle Cardoso as a full partner in the company. Woo! Great job for me. Keep up the good work. You're my friend. Get out of my way, Kunle. You have spoken to me in two weeks. This is how we're going to be. What does it matter to me if I speak to you or not? I mean, you, you have your, your living lover come, come house girl in your house, don't you? I'm just saying it doesn't have to be this way. We can still be friends. Friends? After you choose your house help over me? Look, Excuse me. Anna, first of all, I think it's not fair. And I think that you have to stop referring to her as a house help. Well, that's what she is, isn't it? No amount of veneer can change that fact. I hate you, Kunleka Doso. Oh, that's too bad. Look, we're going to be seeing each other for a long time to come, so it's either you get used to her being in my life and return to friendship mode, or you can jump in the damn lake. Really? Me, Kunle? I got the recipe from a food channel. A food channel. Yes? Who is it? Idiom, open the door. Oh, evening, ma. Good evening, ma'am. This is not a good evening. Ola Kunle, this is not a good evening, though. Oh, what is wrong? What is not wrong? Eh? After you have useless all the lovely girls I sent to you, you're now conjugating with a common house help. What is wrong with you, Olakunle? Are you cursed? Mom, please sit down. Let's eat and get you something to drink. I don't want any drink. She won't enchant me the way she has done to you. Nobody has enchanted anybody, Mom. What I feel for Idong is it's organic, okay? It grew. Then you have to stop that growth. No child of Cardoso or Williams will ever be found wanting, conjugating with the house help. What have you come here for, Mom? I have come here to stop that madness of yours. And you have wasted your time. Look, I don't know where this thing is going, but I'm enjoying the ride, okay? I'm happy. You have been bewitched. Yeah, so let me be happily bewitched. After all the lovely girls from good homes, it is a house girl that you want to settle for. Look, Mom, she may have come to this house as a house girl, but she's worth twice every other girl that you have sent to me. And if this is the reason why you have come here, and I'm sorry, I'll have to be excused. And oh, Mom, look, all due respect, but if you're going to say anything to her, you'll have me to contend with. I was kind of surprised, you know, when you said you wanted to see me after what happened between us. I know, right? But what's the use in keeping malice? And in which respect, I understand where you're coming from. Besides, I'm sure you're a changed person now. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why would you say so? <laughs> because <clears throat> you... Like that girl, Ejo. Naturally, you wouldn't give her the time of day. Edong. But I just thought she was rather intelligent. See? See what I'm saying? The Felix I know 
would not give a house girl the time of day. Well, that's um, Conley's fiance. <laughs> hmm? She told you that lie too. She's his house girl. Correct bushmeat. She learned all her manners and speech from a TV. Kunle's fiance. It's Kunle's fiance. It can't be true. That's Kunle's fiance. Of course it's true. Even Kunle can't deny it. serious allegation has been leveled against you. Much as it's not professional in nature, it has professional implications. Uh, and uh, what allegation might this be, ma'am? The lady you introduced, what is the true nature of your relationship with her? Is she your fiance? I, I don't understand. What is it that you don't understand? The lady, is she your fiance or she's your house girl? Which one is it? She's um, someone that I like a lot. That does not answer the question. Is she your fiance or is she your house help? She was my house help. But that is absolutely sacrilegious. So you mean you both told me? No, I, I can't believe this. How would you stop so low? I mean, your house help. You know what? I think you should stay away for some time. Why? But you're the one who suggested that I go to the dinner with a lady. I, I suggested going to dinner. I mean, I did not mean stoop solo. I mean, your house help. You just stay away and, you know, sort this out, fix it. I, I don't know or care how you do it. Just fix it. I don't care how you do it. Just stay away. So, I'm sorry. I, 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 don't, I don't get this. One minute we're singing her praises and the next we're crucifying her because of her history. Why are people so fickle? Kunle, you know what? <sighs> You're going to have to stay away for some time so that this blows over. With all due respect, ma'am, I will do no such thing. I like her and I'm not ashamed to say it. And if this is going to cost me my job, then too bad. bad. Kunle. You're kind of forcing my hand here. My hands are tied. If you don't stay away, I will have choice but to fire you. Well, I'll save you the trouble by sending in my resignation letter. I have no words. You did it, didn't you? Well, I hope that you're happy. You know, I just tendered my resignation. And you know what? I don't mind her own. I don't. You know why? Because she's worth it. She's worth losing all of this for. Can anyone do the same for you, Lola? Can anyone do the same for you? Does anyone think that you're worth it? I resign from my job today. What? Well, they wanted me to 
do something that's against my principle. The... What was that? When I need to do something that's against my principle, it doesn't matter now. What was that? Is it, no, it doesn't matter now. <laughs> Why would you say things like that? Is it because of this? Don't lie to me. Why would you say things like that? Was it because of me? Come the please. Don't lie to me. Was it because of me? Hey, where are you off to? I'm going to the market to buy a few stuff for the house. Okay, you look a little overdressed for the market. Would you rather I dress there looking like a house help? Okay. Okay. I'll see you later. All right. So on fire. Of course I'm on fire, darling. <laughs> Can I ever forget? Sorry. Yes? What do you want? What? You will just wait for me. Who is it? Uh, it's a... Uh, is that the dumb girl? Well, you know, the girl your friend used to dupe me. Really? Yeah. What does she want? I don't even know, sir. I don't know. Hmm. What do you want? The mimbo. The mimbo. Mom, good me. What's wrong with you? The mimbo. Yes, I forget the mimbo. I don't know who took me. Mom got me. What's wrong with you? Huh? If you're taking me like a father, the way I took you as a daughter, you, you wouldn't have done that to me. It was just supposed to be your one time dinner. But things went out of control. The awful. What kind of nonsense was that? And even if I can forgive you because that silly boy Kule forced you to do this, I can, I can never forgive him. And I'll make sure he regrets it. Please, please forgive him, please. No, 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 you don't, Kana. I can't. That, that boy made a fool of me. He was just desperate. What, what level of desperation was that? What desperation would justify that level of deceit? He has lost so much because of me. Ah, so? He used you. I don't mind. I, but I mind. I mind. You, you, you young people, you just have the tendency of <laughs> underestimating older people. Hello, Kunle. Yes. Is everything okay? Why wouldn't everything be okay? Everything was okay between you and Idong because I went to Sir Daniel's and um, I saw both of them coming out of his room. Yes, that, that's a bloody lie. She went to the market. There's no need getting all worked up. If you don't believe me, you can always check it out. I 
I will make a scapegoat of him. I will make a scapegoat of him. Please, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Like my uncle, maybe just leave me alone. Please, ever please. You don't. Please. Okay, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Okay, Diana. Oh my God. Okay, I'm okay. okay. That's why you're the Bible God. Here. Yeah. It's okay. Just here. Don't make all this stupid. What are you doing in my house? My friend, get out! You don't believe me, sir? Sit down. Sit down! Okay. Nonsense. This man, boy. Idiot.
Hey, you. Hi. Is that how you say hello to a bride to be? Bride to be. And uh, who is the unfortunate groom? Mr. Daniels. Unfortunate. Great. Wow. Mr. Daniels, as in Sir Daniels? Funny, isn't it? But true. Yuri, anyway, let me get this straight. Um, Idong and I, you and I, Idong and Daniels, you have no issues with sharing with Idong? <laughs> that. I mean, I just wanted to hurt her because she made me angry. But, so, what are you saying? You're saying it wasn't true? Of course it wasn't. I mean, yeah, she went to Mr. Daniel's house, but to beg him, I suppose. <laughs> Just sent you 500,000. Aww, thank you, freaky, freaky Zaddy. That's it. It's charity work. It's charity. Oh, yeah, too late. Too late for Zaddy. Too late. Aww, you're a naughty boy. Ah, I'm a naughty boy. I'm only seven years old. <laughs> oh, Zaddy, who is that? Eh? Away, away. Go. Go away. <laughs> Who are you tattooing with? Imagine, no, can you see life? Uh, my rocket app. <laughs> Chiji 40 Exchange is my rocket app agent. Yes, you know, with Chiji 40 Exchange, anything Bitcoin trading, mm. my rocket app is what you should use. So, mommy, wa, eh, <laughs> uh, mommy wa, what has come over you? What are you going to do that? Yeah. Are you the number? Do that, eh? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Those all the way to. Uh huh. I need my yeah. train body. Ah. Ah. It's not easy. Just stay in the leg. Ooh. Ah, fantabulous. You know, this is my place. I came out now. I'm so sorry. Am I disturbing? No, 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 no. no. Disturb me? If you disturb me, slap my face. <laughs> you are not disturbing. The yeah, I just came out. I, I saw that. Ah, who is this? Because I, my doctor has been talking to me. Everybody, they said I should also be encouraging people. We need to do yes, exercise like the body. It's very good to we do. need to lose yes, the sir. weight. Good, <laughs> so seeing you, I'm happy. In fact, I have to encourage you for losing weight. <laughs> Put your card number here. Put your card here. My card is there. Yes, sir. Ah, yeah. 
21 million. Sir, daddy, ah, daddy, you know what? Let's jog together so we can burn these we calories together. We'll lose the weight together. We can. Yes, no, but you know I can't be jogging with you as a father figure. But if we go inside now, there are other ways that we can lose weight. <laughs> you get me now? Ha, I will lose weight. You will lose all the weight. Bro. I want to lose all the weight. Now, did you know how to leave dumbbell? Ah, Ricky, let me lose this Daddy, weight. Daddy, you will lose that weight. Oh, yeah, Mabo. Mabo there. Ah, Mabo now, Ricky. Yeah. Okay. You will lose the weight too. Ha! You will lose the weight too. You will lose the weight. <laughs> excited about this. Thank you very much, man. So, love, can you find out if we can present early next week? Mm -hmm. We still have the banquet foods pitch, by the way. Yes, ma'am. So, do you want to do I can't say. Hello, ma'am. I'm okay, ma'am. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, work is good. <sighs> no, ma'am. None yet. And for how long? All your mates are on their third children. Mom, I thought you always said it's not how early that matters, but how well. Yes. Mom, that's not fair. I've just not found the right girl now. How many more right girls do you need to meet? What about all those ones I introduced you to? Uh, Mom, you mean the ones that you set me up with? Those were good young ladies from respectable homes. And what did you do with them? Eh, it's not my fault that things didn't pan out well now. How will it pan out well? When before we can say Jack Robinson, you have already slept with them. Look at Dayo. Girlfriend, you just wasted a potential wife as a girlfriend. Yes. Oh, hi. Come in. Are you? Can you cut this over your service? Yes. Yes. Uh, come this way, please. Sorry. Um. <clears throat> yeah, please sit down. Uh, do you want something to drink? No, thanks. Okay, so what exactly did my mom ask you to speak to me about? Um, 
I just moved back to Nigeria from the UK. Oh. I'm trying to find a job in public relations. Oh, okay. Is that what you studied? Postgraduate. Oh. Had my first degree in economics from Cardiff. Interesting. So, tell me about yourself. What would you like to know? Hmm. Management and public relations. Hmm. So I decided to settle for the more glamorous one. <laughs> Never seen a money manager on the red carpet before, have you? <laughs> True. You know, I think I really like you. Hmm. Yeah, you should. Thanks, man. You're a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a prince amongst men. Hmm. Look, I'm, I'm sorry you got the wrong impression. How dare you say I got the wrong impression? You said you loved me. Look, we were just having sex. If you know it, if you mean it, why didn't you say so later? You know what? Kumi, you will never find anyone to love you. Mark my words. Raise me and I'll help you take care of this living room. What is this? By the way, I hope you have food in this house though. Because I'm starving. Gosh. How are you, Mr. Kudasso? It's uh, okay. From what I see here, it's not too serious, but. I'm gonna have to advise you take it very easy for the next few days. All right. Thank you. Oh, gosh. I was freaking scared. Oh, she thought I was finally going out of your life. Like, seriously, bros. You need to start taking it easy on yourself. You know you're the one giving me out when I'm getting married. Oh, so that's it. And here I was thinking that the concern was genuine love. Rubbish. That's it. Kunle, what happened to you? Hi, Mom. Look, I just needed some rest, that's all. You just needed rest and you were found slumped on the floor? Yeah, but I'm fine now, Mom. That is why I've been telling you to get married. God forbid, I wonder what could happen. Okay, so because I'm being married would have stopped me from passing out? That is not what I'm saying. If you had been married, your wife could have discovered you even earlier. Look, enough is enough. If you're not going to get a wife, at least get a house help. Mm -hmm. Fine, as long as it's not in my way and my face all day. 
And just like that Benue boy that we had in Jerry, what was that his name again? <laughs> Saibu. Exactly, <laughs> Saibu. Four freaky character like this. Always everywhere. <laughs> that guy always had me scared. Like, so <laughs> when are they going to discharge you? Well, the doctor says maybe tomorrow. And then if I stay at home for like one day or two. Thank just, God. Uh, <sighs> okay. Nice. I heard you were back. Hmm. I wanted to see you for myself. Yeah, right. So, what happened to you? Well, I guess I overestimated myself. But after three hours with you, I thought that I could go back home and work overnight. So, now you know. Do you want to swing by later? <laughs> I don't know that I should be exerting myself that much yet. Don't worry, I'll be on top. <laughs> I really liked him. I told him, but marriage is not my thing. Why? Because I don't like the idea of being under any man. I like my freedom too much, I beg. <laughs> okay, so you don't want to have kids in the future? Of course I do. But who says I have to be married to the father? All I need is the right spawn from the right guy, and I'm straight to motherhood. Wow. Uh, you're crazy, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because like you, I don't want to compromise my freedom. So what? Is it a case of good for the gander, bad for the good? Right. This kind of situation. Uh, so this is exactly the reason why I say whether I like, hey, maybe we should get married. Huh? And kill each other after one month? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. But honestly though, I think that you should be careful about who you pick as your baby daddy. Of course I will be. You know, he's got to be very handsome and extremely rich. Right, so that rules me out. Sorry, but you're still top of my list. You know why? Because no one else does the things you do the way you do them. <laughs> Um, I'm asking for Mr. Kunle. I'm from Mommy Koloso. Yes, I'm Kunle. Uh, Madam, tell me, I can't work for you. My mom asked you to come and work for me. Yes, she said I clean the house, wash clothes, and cook food for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how this is going to work, but. Just come in. Come in. Uh, okay, I'm not sure how this is going to work, but, um, you know, it's just um, put your bags in the room on the right there. I see you've done some major cleaning. Well done, Oga. Uh, I put your food on the table. Yeah, thank you. I've seen it. Uh, Idong. Oga? 
Where'd you get the things you used to make the soup? Oh, I buy these things from market as I was coming. And the fufu? All right, thank you. Uh, please remind me to refund your money to you later. Mm. And Nidong? Oga? I profess uh, to Oga, okay? Get ready to redo the vitacular presentation. Oh, he's done that already. <clears throat> uh, oh, by the way, did I tell you that my mom eventually found me a house help? Oh, she did? Mm -hmm. That's good. Is he any good? It's a she, actually. I know she's not any good. I mean, she's nice and all, but apart from cooking, she knows next to nothing. Then fire her. Yeah, I probably will. I mean, because she doesn't know how to use the dishwasher or the washing machine. She made a horrible mess the times that she tried. And she has this horrible habit of serving me water in a covered glass with my meal. Oh. Like I'm some village chief or something. That's probably how she sees you. <laughs> you know what? I'll take a look at her before you fire her, okay? Please, help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Did I mention to thank you? Did I mention to thank you? Did I mention to thank you? What? What you? What you? What you doing? What you doing here? What you doing here? I'm not, I'm not playing with you, I'm not playing with you. I just want to tell you that the food was good. Thank you, sir. And uh, I see that you've been able to find your way around the area. <laughs> yes, sir. I use my phone to find my, everything I want. <laughs> Seriously? How did you know to do that? Um, there's this man on one program on TV. He uses his phone to find everything he wants. Makes sense. Yes, yes, I'm finished. Seriously, like she's like an information sponge. You know, she hears something once and the next time she's repeating it verbatim. Okay, maybe you should keep her around for a bit more. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, she's improving by the day, and the food is getting a bit more adventurous. Last time she cooked some interesting delicacy, and it was quite good. So, send her to school and make her a personal assistant. You really think so? Of course not. I was joking. Uh, she's a bush girl, and that thing is always going to be there. I guess so. Hey, listen, I've got to go. I've got a meeting with the banquet people, with MD as well. We're trying to sort out a new presentation date. Yeah, I really feel really bad about that. Nah, don't be. It's okay. It's not your fault. Um, busy later? Nah, not really. Okay. So, I'll drop by. And maybe I can see your little girl. Okay. See ya. See ya. 
Yes? Who is it? I'm here to see too late. Please, um, is he expecting you? Tell Kule Lola is outside. I should be leaving in a minute. Um, I'm sorry, I just wanted to be sure. Where's um, Kunle? I'll, I'll just go, go call him. Hmm. Hey, Lola. I was sneezing when I heard your voice. Thank you. Is that the girl? Yep. I see dog. That's not a child. That's a full grown babe and a sinfully curvy one at that. Oh, I don't know about the sinful part, but. Yes, she is certainly curvy, which is really none of our business. Before I leave, fortunately for us, Banquet Fools has decided to give us another shot. Hmm. So, Kunle. Yes, ma'am. Tomorrow you'll be having dinner with the chairman. Okay. So, Daniels wants to go with New Age, but if you impress him, he'll have no option but to work with us. Okay. Oh, uh, I want to see the presentation for Neurocrime in the next few minutes. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Right. And Kunle. When you're going tomorrow night, go with somebody. So, Daniels believes any business executive above the age of 30 that isn't married is irresponsible. Yeah, but I don't have a girlfriend or fiance. Find somebody for the night. Must I do everything myself? <laughs> well, you free tomorrow night? Um, yes, I am, but I don't think it's such a good idea. Why? Well, let's just say I've got history with Sir Daniels. Are you serious? I never said I was a saint. Hey, listen, um, call up your ex-girlfriends. I'm sure one of them might be happy to go to dinner with you. Yeah, I hope so. Hope so, too. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. Where's my brother Kunle? He's gone to work. And you are? My name is Sidon. I work for him. Really? What do you do for him? Um, I'm his housekeeper. <laughs> you don't look like a housekeeper. Thank you. But that's what I am. 
Um, can I get you something to eat or drink? Yeah, anything cold would be fine. Yes, yes, I know. I'm, I'm sorry about that. You know, but we can talk about this after dinner and I'll explain everything that happened. Found one yet? No, I haven't. I have called 12 people and not one of them is willing to see me, let alone go to dinner with me. I'm not bad. Well, you once got away with dating twin sisters for three months by managing to convince each one of them that the other one was crushing on you. That, my friend, is considered as bad. Well, uh, if my display of masculine prowess is what will be considered as bad, I should still at least be able to get one person to dinner with me. Mm. Ah. Mm. Aha. I think that I'll get one of these girls from these escort services that are springing up all over the place now. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Why? Because Sir Daniels is worse than you when it comes to the opposite sex. He can smell a Ron's girl from a mile away. Yeah, well, I'm talking about an escort, not a Ron's girl. Semantics, Kunde. Medical students don't become engineers. <sighs> hey, listen, um, call up your guys. MD wants the Norprint documents before she leaves. Yeah? Oh, I almost forgot about that. Okay, uh, we'll call you. Well, that saves me right from destinating me. So now tell me the truth. Your brother's girlfriend, aren't you? No, I'm not. Okay. But you're not his housekeeper either. I have met a lot of housekeepers and they certainly don't look like you. in the entire world that I would like to be with me at that dinner. And it was you, darling. I don't understand, do I sound like I've been drinking? I can't believe I can't find a date. Mm -hmm. Good evening, sir. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? I'm supposed to have dinner with this client who thinks that every married executive over 30 is on serious. That's dumb. Yeah, well. The chairman, so his opinion matters a lot. Well, take one of your exes, will you? I can't. I've called 15 of them. They all hate me. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Wait. You should be able to hook me up with one of your friends now. <laughs> Seriously? And let them end up like Jasmine and Ronke? Look, this is different, okay? There's just a few hours at dinner. Yeah, yeah. Just the same way Jasmine was supposed to be waiting here for me and somehow ended up in your bed. Okay, so I've been a bastard in the past, but this, this is my job on the line, Wilson. <sighs> well, I don't know how to help you, bro. Like, seriously, keep my friends out of this. <sighs> By the way, who's um, Idong? What's your relationship with her? She's my house help. <laughs> seriously? How did you get a girl like that to be your house help? Maybe you should ask your mother. <laughs> well, she could be the answer to your problem. How do you mean? Take her to the dinner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You think? Of course. Position for you. Me? Yes, it's okay. It's um, it's quite simple, really. All I need for you to do is escort me to a dinner date, and you just pretend, just 
pretend to be my girlfriend? No. No, no. I, I can't do that. Okay. There's really nothing to it. Okay, nothing at all. You just need to look pretty, say a little, good evening when we get there. Thank you for a lovely evening when we're leaving. That's all. That's all you need to do. Is this cool by you? Yes. Cool. Cool. Now I have to dress you up. You're seriously going to do that? Okay, I don't have an option. Okay, 16 tries and not one of them is willing to go with me. And you decide to opt for a disaster waiting to happen? No, well, it's not going to be a disaster. Okay, her English has improved. So what happens if he wants to have a conversation? I mean, can she talk about work, books, arts? Allah. Politics? It is a business meeting, okay? Talk will be mostly about work. You can never be so sure. Mm. Anyway, it's your career, it's your dinner, do whatever you want. You need me to make her look fabulous, right? Yes. So let's do it. Money. <laughs> Three, one, one, zero. I'll get a Birkin bag Hello? for my effort. I was only joking. Easel. Calm down. I'll uh, just do a Jimmy Chen. I'm serious now, huh? Prada. What's wrong with you? Why are you calling me all these expensive things? Please. Gucci, Gucci. Please. Let's bring my card back. Let it not be. <laughs> <laughs> Because it'll be funny if my girlfriend keeps referring to me as sir. You understand? Okay, let's do this. Good evening, sir. Oh, 
Hello, uh, Kobe, how are you? Fine, thank you. This is my girlfriend, Heidi. Oh, God. Pleased to meet you. Oh. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Mix grill for two, please. Okay? No, no, no. Um, make that three. I think we should all eat the same thing, I think. Okay. Yeah, all right, that's very good. Okay. So, uh, Kule. Sir. Ah, your, your MD tells me that you have some really interesting ideas. Yes, sir. Um, five rings. What we try to do is we take the product to the consumers on the streets um, and we find the most uh, so that we can you know actually have a road show um, and go into remote places mm -hmm. places people avoid mm -hmm. yeah, I think that um, it will be an unprecedented success oh Kazo! I do any Eh? Yes. Are you? Are you mm. Really? That's nice. I don't go. I get it here. Okay, the Edom. Edom. Oh, okay. that is where the ID comes from. Yes. <laughs> mm. That's very good. You know? That is the same school my wife attended. The very same school. <laughs> I don't date you for me. Honestly, tell me about it. I have, I have one of the products in my house. <laughs> Kunle, that means uh, I'll give you another opportunity to pitch to the board. Okay? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. You don't... It was really, really nice meeting you. You know? Me too, sir. Okay. <laughs> so, um... Kule. Sir. Don't let this treasure slip away from your hand. <laughs> no, no. I'm keeping her close to me, sir. Okay. Um, Have you fixed the wedding date yet? Uh, uh, not, not precisely, but uh, definitely Definitely within the year. So keep me posted, okay? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And then make sure you bring her when you come for the pit. Hmm? No problem, sir. Okay, then. Thank you very much, sir. Have a lovely evening. Thank you, sir. Good fun. Thank you. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Yes, it. I think that's all we can do. I think it'll be a good idea. Yeah. That was really, really well done. Thank you. That was good, but. Uh... We will still have to deliberate on it, mm -hmm. you know. But with your presentation, that would just be a mere formality. Hmm? Thank you very much, sir. Uh, so we'll see you during the shoot? Yes, yes. And you must make sure you bring the young lady with you. Mm. And for all other meetings we have. Okay. Yeah? I think she's your good luck charm. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I do. Darling, I will have to require more of your time. Okay. Thank you very much. Sir. All right, good. Have a favor. Okay, go on. Um, so, Sir Daniel has taken a liking to you, dog. <laughs> Tell me something new. No, no, not like that. Mm, she seems fond of her. Yes, from the same place. 
<laughs> Whatever makes you sleep at night, Kunle. What's the favor? He's asked me to bring her to the shoot. Okay. And every other meeting we have. What does that mean? I just told you he's fond of her. <laughs> that sounds like more than fondness to me. Bec anyway, it's none of my business. If Sir Daniels has taken a liking to a house help, that's a stick of cigarette. What's the favor? Anyway, um, I need you to help set up her wardrobe, you know, be able to buy some things she can wear to these places. You're really going to spend money on your house girl to impress Daniels? Look, if it will secure our retainership, it will shock you what I'm willing to do. Your money, your business. Send me your details. I'll credit your account later, Joe. Add 30% on top of it, too. Because I need to buy my own stuff. <laughs> Okay, so we need to go over some questions just so we don't mess up, get some facts right. Okay. Um, so here are a list of questions that they would most likely ask us, like, um, where did we meet? You can say that we met at the mall. Yes, I ran into you when you were carrying some things and then you dropped them. Yeah. Um, and then if they ask you how I propose, you can see that I propose at a restaurant after dinner. Yeah. Are you sure you can remember all these things? Yes, I can remember. All right, cool. Uh, my favorite color is blue. What's yours? Red. Okay. Favorite food, rice and vegetable? A fang soup and gari. 
Um, and oh, if they decide to ask you why you decided I'm the one, you can just tell them it was my son. But you are not. Oh. Okay, um. Yeah, I guess you. I'm just joking. something from your side, from the other side, and then with your head, yeah, exactly, like that, good. Nice, how's it looking? Great. Beautiful. All right, let's get the other girl, come on. Okay, nice. I want a lot of smiles, okay? Okay, nice, beautiful. Bring this down a bit so we can get a good shot of her. Good, good. We got some. Sweetie, come on. Okay. Nice. Give something to the, to the left so we can see your whole body. Nice. Okay. How's it looking? Fine. Good. Okay. All right. You okay? Yeah, fine. Look good. Thank you. Anyway, the almost set up things are running smoothly. Shouldn't be here too long. So, the yes. agents of the model wants to see you. Okay. So I'm gonna go sort some things out, so. Okay. Will you be fine? Sure. Okay. You should be doing your makeup now, you know. Aren't you one of the models? Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, then the director must be a nitwit because you're like the most beautiful woman from a mile radius. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, trust me, I know about these things. I'm Sean Fuqua. You don't hand Sean. Hey, Sean. Ah, uh, cool. See you your fiance. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just thought I found love. Uh, <laughs> I think they're ready for you. All right, man. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Okay? Right. Take Thanks, care. Uncle. Yeah. Well right. done, well done. Sure. Okay, okay, ladies, ladies, how's it going? Everything looking good? <laughs> um, who's here? It's the director of the shoots. Oh. Yes. You're not planning on keeping her as a housewife. Right? <laughs> not at all. Uh -huh. She'll start work soon. So. Uh, that's fantastic because I'm sure we have some vacancies coming up in my company. Oh, okay. Yes. yes. Um, what did you study? Uh, yeah. Economics. Yes. Uh, economics. <laughs> um, remind me, I know we talked about this before. What school? Aquaibom. Yes. The, the university there. 
Unio. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. The very good go. <laughs> I used to have a friend there. Um, what's his name now? Um, engineering department. Uh, um, Professor Fowley. Mm -hmm. Do you, do, you know, do you know him? Mm -hmm. Of course not. <laughs> it was a long time ago, and I'm sure, I'm sure he had left before you got him. Mm -hmm. You know. But then I used to visit the school, you know. And wait, hey, do you know where these women used to sell bread? Uh, babe, yeah? sorry, sorry, What's sorry. That? Look, huh? Hale, are you okay? Do, do you want to go and wait in the car? All right. Maybe, sorry sir, I hope oh, no, you don't no, mind. No, it's, just okay, so it's okay, it's okay, really. Yeah. 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 Why not? Maybe yeah. just relax in the car, okay? Oh. Mm. Oh. Lovely girl. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, beautiful. Hi. Hey. hey, you know I'm still surprised you're not a model. Well, because modeling has never been my thing. What? As beautiful as you are. <laughs> Come on. Not with all this going on. No, you should really consider it. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, like, seriously, how do you cope with all this? <sighs> hey, what can we do? <laughs> but you know, I'm really trying to put up some money together so I can start my own magazine. Really? Yeah. And then you just give up on directing? <sighs> well, I'll tell you the truth. Now, everything has really not been my thing, you know. i tell you the truth, you know, I really won't miss it, you know. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, enough about me. Let's talk about you. How long have you and Kole been together? Not so long. <laughs> oh. So it's really not serious yet? Mm-mm. Not really. Oh, yeah? So, do you love him? I don't think I really um, know much about the love part, but I know I do like him, and he's a nice guy. Yeah, well, I'm nicer. <laughs> and I'm crazy about you. Yeah. I mean, Indian, I'm really crazy about you. I, mean, I know we just met, but it's the honest truth. Hmm. Let me tell you something. Stop it! Sean, me... really? Don't wait for me, Michael. Oh, look. Yo. Come here. I'm sorry. Uh, look, Dad, I don't really know what got over here. Kuli, I'm not really interested in your explanation. What I know is, if you're something that speak to her ever again, I'll make sure you never work in this town again. Yo, Kuli. Kuli. Should have been thanking me. Besides, I enjoyed myself. Um, I think I need to go and change. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna turn into. Uh... Okay. Good night. All right. Good night. Turned out really good. Everybody loved it. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. That will be nice. Thanks. All right, then. Yeah, bye. Such a darling, you do <laughs> What's for dinner? <clears throat> Please, sir. Can I go and sleep now? Uh, yeah. I'm sure we'll be able to clean up when we finish. Okay. Alright. It's nice, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> do you want to help me? dinner last night. It was lovely. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mm. If I want a glass, I'll ask for one. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Thank Go you. to hell. <sighs> Morning, Edong. Morning, sir. Are you okay? Yeah, I um, I was thinking you and my might need something before I go to the market. I think we'll be fine. Why in heaven's name have you been? I went to the market. And you stayed there till now? Who goes to the market and stays for over 10 hours? And your phone is switched off. My, my battery was dead. So you should have found a way to reach me. Or it didn't occur to you that I'd be worried? What, you didn't think that I'd be worried? It's not that. It's just, uh... Nothing, sir. You don't? Out with it. It's, it's just that I offended Madame. And I feel it would be best to stay away till she leaves. What happened? 
she was drinking from the pack of juice and flared up when I offered her a glass. <laughs> Are you being serious? <laughs> okay. Look, you did the right thing, okay? You did the right thing. Can you imagine her last face when she's flaring up? But look, next time, please don't.